a very good evening to you. It is the 12th day of October 2023. Welcome to UCTV News. I am Sunday Gloria Abwatch. To start us off, the second national ICT job fair opens next week as Ayebe Lamb reports. The Ministry of ICT and National Guidance, in partnership with Huawei Technologies Uganda, the Ministry of Labor, Gender and Social Development, have briefed the country on the upcoming National ICT Job Fair to be held at Kololo Ceremonial Grounds on the 17th to 18th October with His Excellency Yori Kaguta Museveni, the Chief Guest. Running under the theme Navigating the Digital Horizon, the ICT Job Fair seeks to push and root for digitization which encompasses the challenges, opportunities and transformations brought about the digital age. It signifies the journey individuals, businesses and societies embark upon as they explore the vast ever-changing landscape of digital technologies and their impact on various aspects of life in Uganda. In a statement to the media, Honorable Chris Bariomosi, the Minister of ICT and National Guidance, noted that the ICT sector is a driving force behind Uganda's economic growth and one of the four pillars of wealth creation is excellent. Yori Museveni has been emphasizing in his national addresses. The second annual this initiative that underscores our unwavering commitment to announcing the potential this initiative underscores our unwavering commitment to harnessing the potential of information and communication technology for national development. As we all know, the ICT sector is a driving force behind Uganda's economic growth and one of the four pillars for wealth creation, as His Excellency the President has been emphasizing through his national addresses, which you follow. And cover. National ICT Job Fair will be an invaluable forum for both job seekers and employers. Job seekers can find suitable opportunities, network with industry professionals, and enhance their skills, while employers can meet potential candidates, assess their skills, and make informed hiring decisions. Majority of our young of our population in Uganda are young. The government has provided opportunities to access education up to university and the tertiary level. The government has provided health care, including preventive programs, and that's why many children survive to adulthood. So now we have a huge barge of the youth population, which is educated but with a challenge and a concern of inadequate access to decent employment. And this job fair partially addresses that concern of enabling our young people to have access to employment opportunities. This job fair aims to bridge the gap between job seekers, the ICT field, and prospective employers and it provides a unique platform for our talented young people to showcase their skills, interact with leading industry players, and explore various career opportunities within the ICT sector. ICT job fairs foster a dynamic and interconnected job market benefiting the Uganda ICT industry. Ocho John Martin, Ayebe Lam Anthony, reporting for UCTV News. Participate in these trainings and then you learn a thing or two. The Uganda National Association of Building and Civil Engineering Contractors, UNABEC, in partnership with the Minister of Works and Transport, have unveiled key events to commemorate their 30th anniversary. Oriema John Pasco gives details to this story. The Minister of Works and Transport, Katumba Wamala, speaking at the Construction and Infrastructure Forum Exhibition 2023, says that the twin event provides an opportunity to explore cut aging solutions that connect with the industry influencers and engage discussions that shape the industry's future. These events underscore the pivotal role UNAPSEC and its members have played in shaping 
Uganda's construction and infrastructure landscape over the years. If there is anybody here who will tell me that his life is not influenced by these people, either by the road or by the building, tell me, raise up your hand and say, for me, all employment, and say, for me, those people don't concern me. Every one of us, each one of us's life is influenced by the activities of this of, of the infrastructure and the construction industry. In line with the ministry's mandate, we have partnered with UNABSEC to initiate Uganda Construction and Infrastructure Forum and Exhibition as an annual forum where hundreds of industry stakeholders, including government, private sector, and civil society players. This year's this, this fair will be under the theme celebrating UNAPSEC's 30 years of shaping Uganda's construction industry. Engineer James Solanya, the president of UNABEC, says that this is the first Uganda Construction and Infrastructure Forum and Exhibition. He says the forum will focus on all aspects of the construction industry, including industry standards and regulations, engineering, materials, technology, and innovation. The forum and exhibition will focus on all aspects of construction industry, including industrial standards, the industry standards rather, regulation, engineering, materials, technology, innovation, equipment, contract financing, management solutions, architecture, real estates, and I'm glad to report to you that a number of uh, these uh, firms are represented by their associations and they are, some of them are here and others you will be uh, meeting them in the course of time. This is among many other partners that we do have. Some of the tentative discussion topics under the consideration include the performance of Uganda private uh, sector in the last three decades, uh, investment opportunities in the construction industry, green digital intelligent construction and infrastructure, standardization of construction, uh, construction materials, positioning the construction industry to take advantage of the East African community market and African continental free trade area, among others. President Yuri Kagutam Seveni is expected to grace the event, and the keynote speaker will be Professor Lumomba, a notable Pan-Africanist who has delivered several speeches about African solutions to Africa. We shall be attracting about 500 participants in this forum and we shall also be launching our new brand which is aimed at making the association more inclusive as an umbrella body to bring all the practitioners in the construction sector. The chief guest uh, for the UCFE uh, in 2023 will be His Excellency uh, Uwe Kaguta Museven, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and the keynote speaker for this event, we shall be having Professor uh, Lumumba, uh, who is a very notable Pan-Africanist, and who delivers, has delivered already several speeches about the continent solution uh, that, that we are already uh, facing challenges about. The police in Kasese have arrested and detained a man suspected to have killed and buried two people. John Pasco reports on this story. Vida, aged 40, went missing in early April until Thursday when Muhinda allegedly accepted that he killed his wife on allegations of adultery and secretly buried the two people in different locations on his personal piece of land in Kamowe village. Agnes Kaslenge, the biological sister to the deceased, says that she last met Kaptusi as he was going to meet Muhindo over money issues in July this year. Mr. Dennis Muhunga, the clan leader, confirmed the above assertions and regretted the instance. He stated that the family had not been aware of the missing persons, but they knew that Kaptusi was arrested and detained at Katwe Division Police Headquarters in Kasese District. Muhunga added that the family was shocked when they learned that their own family member plotted the murder of Abira and Kaptusi. This is the place I was talking of. I personally witnessed yesterday, and right now I am here showing you that I, me, myself, I saw 
the hand of the person of the deceased whom we have not yet identified as if a man or a woman, but here. Jisinga Subcounty Chairperson Mr. Julius Mukeri has challenged the families to be mindful of the whereabouts of their relatives. Likely to be true, but pending some investigation. But we are now in the search where we have identified two areas where we suspect they could have been buried. And it is like this man has just been, was arrested on allegation that he had murdered his wife. And uh, after a long time, it was realized he has also murdered his, uh, his biological brother. Uh, we are like, we have waited for, we have been with police and we are now at the scene of crime. We, we, we are waiting for police order, where they, they say court order, that will help us to exhume the bodies of the deceased. For UCTV News, I'm Oriama John Pasco. We can be helped to exhume the body from here. Thank you so much. You are still watching UCTV News that takes a short break and we'll be right back. UCTV, good news for all. Dear children, friends of Jesus, you are welcome to your program. I'm Dorothy Atire Songo. Be with us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. For church leaders, we pray for their well-being. May the Almighty God guide and lead them through their missions. We pray to the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are watching UCTV, good news for all. For this and more, tune in to Kasese Get Radio 100.5 in Western Region, located at the hill of the Diocese of Kasese. KGR brings you all Catholic programs and an advertising platform in all our radio shows like Good Morning Rinzori, Chama Tovoka, Ukute, The Business Show, Propeller, The Request Show and Sports, Evaluation, Bahinga Bakuluka, Late Night Show and many others. Our other services include Isuzu Tipa, a no car, public address system, live band, Omoke Kera, an audio recording studio, and outside live broadcast. For more information, call 0773-597-166 or visit our website www.kasesegetradio.com. Kasesiget Radio, Omusondoria, the voice of truth. UCTV, good news for all. Welcome back. You're watching UCTV News. I'm Sunday Gloria Aboch. And into the world of motorsport, Buera Bristol Mossack Rally has been launched today. The much awaited rally will cover a distance of 280 kilometers in the districts of Gomba and Sembabule. Semgenza Mustafa covered this story. Oh my God! Seka! The names Shafiq Matovu, Clark of course, Mozak Rally 2023. Uh, we are going to have an event of six stages, of which two will be repeated to make the total eight. We have two stages in Bukandula, one being uh, Kabenge stage, which is 24 kilometers, followed by Festo stage, which is 18 kilometers. Then we shall have a service, and then uh, we shall have the super special stage, which is 1.5 kilometers for each lane. Two cars shall compete in this super special stage. Uh, then we shall have the cars going for an overnight park for me at the Sodos residence. Uh, that is in Sembabule. Uh, during this time, day two shall be on 22nd October and it shall go in the locations of... Uh, we have four stages, two being one called uh, Toyota, 
which is 12 kilometers, one called Haji Gombe, which is 11 kilometers. These two stages will be repeated after we have done the Rugusuru stage and the Chavi stage, which are 24 kilometers and 18 kilometers respectively. Uh, we shall have very fast sections, very enjoyable for fans. All fans who want to watch the Gombe stages, please go up the hill where the super special stage is located. You will be able to watch one stage at the super special stage. Uh, you don't need to loiter. Please keep safe, stay in one location and enjoy to the fullest. Uh, in uh, Sembabule, we have the old usual viewing points, which are very limited. Please avoid loitering again. We have to keep safe and make sure that we complete the season as safely and enjoyably as possible. We, we are all aware that the national champion was already declared in Yasin Nasa after the Masaka event having accumulated the most, the most points. And therefore, as a federation, we are hell-bent on having a safe event. Um, we are very strict on these clubs and the organizers and our officials to ensure that whatever happens, all the gaps concerning safety are all covered. And with that, thank you so much for being a part of this newscast. I am Sunday Gloria Aboch. Stay tuned to UCTV for more programming still comes your way. I'm Sunday Gloria Aboch.